Hello, I would like to show you my project, which uses augmented and virtual reality methods to train drone piloting skills. The first part, which you can see now, is a game where you can practice precise flying. The player is controlling a real drone, but virtual obstacles are added into the video stream using augmented reality. So let's see it in practice. We are using a Parrot Bebop 2 drone and fly in this training area. The game shows the view from the drone's front camera with the virtual scene added. The player directly controls the drone's movement. The objective is to follow the path indicated by green rings while avoiding collisions with obstacles. Each ring you fly through gives plus one point towards the score, while getting too close to furniture counts as minus one. Time needed to complete the task is also measured. Training this close to real objects would be very risky, especially because every collision could seriously damage the drone. Right now the game can be quite difficult. The time needed to transmit the video from the drone to the game means that the player cannot instantly see the effects of their actions. Furthermore, the augmented reality mechanism is sometimes unreliable. These are issues that still need some work. Let's look closer at how the augmented reality effect is achieved. In general, we want to align the real world and virtual objects. The only available input is the video. The method used in this project is to place recognizable markers in the background. In this case, these are the squares that you can see on the wall. These are fiducial markers. Each marker has a unique pattern and can be identified by its ID number. Thanks to the high contrast edges of the markers, the program can detect them in video and interpret the patterns to find their corresponding IDs. We also have a virtual map of the markers' positions. The algorithm then tries to align this map to the marker detected in the video. If we use the same projection to draw the virtual objects, they will appear in a specific location relative to the marker board. The marker map can become quite big and complicated, so I made an interface which allows the user to build it conveniently with the help of Unreal Engine's editor. The editor gives control over position, rotation and scale of the boards. Moreover, markers can be organized into a hierarchy. We can group them into boards and move the whole board at once. For each square, we can set the unique ID and the pattern will be generated and saved to a file. The board size can also be configured. The patterns can be then printed and placed in the room. In this project I use the Aruko patterns implemented in the OpenCV library. The code made for this project is released as an open source plugin for Unreal Engine and should simplify creation of augmented reality games. If you are interested, a link is provided in the description. In the second part, I aim to create a more intuitive way to pilot drones using virtual reality. Drones are often controlled with analog sticks, using a control scheme similar to this. The desired movement needs to be translated into different movement of the fingers. A complex command, like moving and turning at once, requires coordination of both hands. Maybe it would be more convenient to map the hand movement directly to drone movement. With virtual reality and motion controllers, we can try. Here we have a pilotic interface using the HTC Vive virtual reality equipment. When the player presses the activation button, the initial hand position is remembered and marked with a green circle. The player can then move the drone by moving the controller in the chosen direction. The further the hand is from the initial position, the faster the drone's movement.
To turn the drone, rotate the controller to the left or right. Movement in all axes and rotation can be easily performed at once, just with one hand. Now let's use this control method to play the training game. This interface can also be used to control the real drone. I would like to thank my supervisors for help and advice, Epic Games for providing Unreal Engine and graphical assets, and the, and the volunteers who tested the application. For more details, please visit the project's website, where you can download the report and complete project files. If you want to make your own augmented reality game, you may find my plugin useful. Please feel free to contact me in case of any questions. Thank you for your attention.